you previously played Lady Chatterley. So what was it like coming back to this role in 2022? Well, I wasn't coming back to the role. Thank goodness. It would have been film. a little bit scary if I'd come back uh, like Mrs. Havisham version of Lady Chatterley. Ari Fraser. What was it like no, coming no, back to I the film? Sorry, I was just... Um, it was really nice. I, I, when I read the script, I thought, well, this is a little bit strange. How do I feel about this? And what I love about the character I play is, first of all, I was, you know, I think happens with actors sometimes you, you get a bit fed up with typecasting, and I wanted to start playing roles that were outside the box of, of um, you know, what I usually was cast as. But then what I love about her is she's a character that loves love because she really loved her husband and she lost him so now she wants to make other people who truly love each other come together so she has a kindness and a quietness i really like and has the new character given you like a different perspective on the story have you learned anything new from the story or do you very much feel the same as you did when you played lady chatterley i haven't uh, i think probably i feel the same from when i first read the book but what i loved was that you can you can reinvent characters seeing emma play lady chatterley she's so punchy she's so modern um, so, no, so it was actually such a, such a fascinating to see um, a whole uh, other Lord take on it, and it shot so beautifully. And obviously there have been a few comments in the media yeah, about no, 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 intimacy coordinators no, 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 and how things have progressed one, into you know, 2022 and how films are made now. So what do you think is the importance of an intimacy coordinator and how did that affect the making of this film? Well, that's a hard question for me to answer. You'd have to answer, ask Emma or Jack, because I haven't ever used an intimacy coordinator. What I do think is that it's really important that they are in place. I mean, back in the day when, 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 when we, you know, I, I did a lot of films that had a lot of love scenes in them. And I got lucky. I always had incredibly nice co-stars, you know, and Sean Bean, namely, you know, he was he's an incredible man incredible actor so I think it's wonderful that the structures in place so that everyone feels safe and protected and then I think it's up to the individuals to see if they ha how comfortable they feel with leeway absolutely so, I, yeah and there seemed to be like a lot of trust between all of you as, an, as a cast and was that something that you felt was there from the day the first day I think there was just a lot of goodwill um, uh, trust. I mean, I feel maybe for me and Matthew, we didn't need so much trust. We just, and me and Emma, in a strange way, we didn't, um, uh, because it just sort of. But the goodwill would be the word I pick. You know, I, it, it's a, it used to be a sort of years and years ago. They always pitted actors against each other and my experience is that it's just so not true actors are there for each other because they know the feeling and when everyone gets scared and also me having you know been in a position where i have done lots of lots of love scenes to just want to make sure that everyone felt okay ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh is that from the goonies nice Hey, you guys!